peace and love. Hope all is well. Hope you're feeling blessed and safe and high vibrational and respected and protected. Now in this video, we will bring in forward messages and guidance for those under the sign of Virgo. And we'll just be having a look to see what energy has to present to you today. Now this is a general read, so the messages may or may not resonate. If they do, please feel free to like, share, subscribe and join our journey. Now if you're looking for a personal, the information is down below in the description box. On this channel, I also channel the energies of Mother Gaia, some Ascended Masters as well as some celebrity energies. We wish to assist us on our Earth journey and you can take a look at those in the playlist. Now for Virgo, we're just going to get straight into it. For you guys, what we have coming out of the deck, we're going to be using, sorry, um, the Good Tarot as well as the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed. Now, in the pre-shuffle of the Oracle deck, what we have coming out is Spirit of Gratitude and also Sacred Reverence. Now, with the Spirit of Gratitude card coming out, that's a reminder for you to have gratitude. But also with that, and also the sacred reverence card the message that came out instantly was have gratitude for the healing of your heart i'm guessing there's been a lot of growth that you've um, experienced a lot of growth that you've underwent and there's a need for you to be grateful for it to be thankful for it i'm also getting to thank yourself but also to be thanking your your um, energetic team for some reason i feel that there isn't enough acknowledgement of your energetic team or your spirit team or however you want to call it the guides that the guides that are around you i just feel like there needs to be a bit more acknowledgement of that for some reason i'm getting that um with you giving like sending this um, energy of gratitude to your guides or just being grateful for them that will help in more blossoming of some kind i'm not sure what kind or what area of your life will blossom um there is a lot of pink in the spirit of gratitude card which is making me feel like love life and i'm getting like the energy of rose quartz as well Queen of Water. I'm get I'm getting like nonchalant energy, not listening, kind of listening to yourself or just going with your own flow, and what you want to do. For some, I'm getting like something to do like the toughness of a shell or the toughness of somebody's shell. Someone could have a very hard exterior, but they have a very strong sense of direction. They know exactly where they're going, exactly where their mind is pointing exactly where opportunity is leading them to it's like for some reason i'm getting somebody can handle pressure very well somebody can be underwater for very long somebody can hold their breath for a long amount of time and still survive for some reason i'm getting like this energy of not breathing but there's also this yin yang energy well, it's like the yin is at the back of your neck. I don't know which one's the yin or the yang, which one's the light and which one's the dark, but the light one is at the back of your neck for some reason. Maybe that means that there's a lot of, um, maybe some negative things or some darkness that you need to express or get off your chest or just get off your throat chakra. Oh, yes, there's an energy of you, like, going within, digging deep to kind of, pull out this emotion or pull out these words out of your darkness or out of your well of despair, I want to say. The tower. So yes, some darkness that needs expressing. Some dark messages or some negativity that you need to express and get off your chest. Two sides to a story again coming out, which just came out in Taurus's reading coming out for you also Virgo for March 2021 there's two sides to a story or there's two sides to be heard or there's two sides to be expressed it's like the two sides only explain one event or one situation or they're just explaining again the opposing sides to the same coin I'm also getting like laser eye surgery, but what I was seeing was like lasers and I was seeing it in like a bank, but then that message quickly turned to laser eye surgery. Lazy eye surgery. There's something to do with like eyesight and it be becoming clearer or like eyesight and someone being caught or someone spying. 
I'm not sure. But for some reason, every time I come in this space to read, my voice becomes very loud. Like, normally I'm very much so, like, quiet and, like, not reserved, but just my energy is very much so peaceful. But uh, loudness doesn't mean to not be in peace, I'm just saying. But, yeah. So, right now we're pulling from the good tarot. And in a moment, we will we'll, we will pull from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. So, Messenger of Water. And the Page of Water. I feel like someone's coming back around. Someone's going to kind of make themselves known again. It's I feel like a disappointed energy, but it feels like you're disappointed in them. And they recognise their disappointment. Or they recognise your disappointment, sorry. But it's like they're coming back out because it's like there's an, ener an energy of them growing. I can hear them saying, I've grown or I've changed or... I'm sorry, I recognise or I acknowledge that I was childish in this situation. Or I acknowledge that I didn't handle this in the, the most mature way. But they're ready to kind of release and come back to you. But the question is whether you are going to be accepting. Whether you are going to hear them out. For some reason, I'm getting that your eyes are your eyes are so intense, or they feel when you look at them. Your eyes burn a hole in the back of their head. Definitely, they feel it. They feel the discomfort. They feel the sadness. They feel the emotion. They feel the intensity. They feel your disappointment. But also, they feel a lot of anxiety within their own stomach, a lot of unsettled feelings. But a lot of this unsettled energy is because they want to come back to you, because they miss you, because they are kind of sorry without you, if that makes sense. It's like their life's harder without you. For some reason, it's like since you were gone, they've been taking in all these toxins, they've been breathing in all this negativity, they've had all this darkness around them, and recently they've got out of the darkness, but they are still holding on to a lot of these negative emotions or this anxiety or just these feelings of the stomach, this unsettled feeling of the stomach. Someone could just literally feel sick a lot or whatever, but there's something to do with like, the cushioning of the stomach and negative emotions or feelings or just a sicky feeling of the stomach or the absorption of negative energy and it's like they've recently got out of this dark cloud but they still hold a lot of these emotions in their stomach and they are still kind of wanting you. It's almost like they need you to really help them get back to who they was when they was with you or when they was around you or to have that same high vibration of when they was around you. It's like they can't cleanse on their own, they can't clear on their own. Ace of Earth. Yes, they see you as holding the key. They are watching and observing you, kind of trying to guess when the best time is to come in and make themselves known. Okay, for some reason I'm getting right now, they're observing because they are a little bit intimidated about stepping forward. But they are watching to try and... They are trying to kind of not be an energy vampire, but yes, trying to absorb some of your energy from a distance, though. Before they come in, it's like they are trying to activate their key and their key is just the clearing of this energy or their, the rising of their vibration. They're trying to do this from a distance. But I do feel that they will come in or make their presence known. I do feel like someone's going to come back or... Again, it could be a new energy, but I just feel like it's an energy that you're present, that you're aware of, that you've kind of been in contact with before, to be honest. sun card <laughs> this is you like not only has obviously this person grown you've both grown to be honest with you but you've grown differently you've grown tall and more regal and more beautiful and more confident and more self-assured and more you've absorbed more light weight as i'm seeing this person is growing wider that could be referring to somebody's weight but i'm seeing them as growing wider it's like you've expanded and it's for some reason energy showing me like ascension as going this way, not going this way. It's like you've ascended, this person hasn't ascended but they've grown, they've changed and developed and matured but not in terms of like 
a ascension way. I don't. I can't explain it, but I just can only express the best that I can try to. They're still grown, but not in terms of an ascension way, not in terms of a spiritual way or a consciousness kind of way. I hope that makes sense. But they have grown, they have changed. Okay, I feel like energy saying they're physically changed, they're physically grown. Yes, whilst with that physical growth, um, like e emotional elements have grown or mental elements have grown, their growth is more so of a physical growth rather than an energetic or a conscious expansion kind of growth. Okay. Let's pull one final card for Virgo for March 2021. And then we'll move to the Oracle deck. Magician. Okay, so you have a, the ability to manifest whatever at the moment. And get to you have been manifesting. You have been putting in the work. You have been learning about mysticism. I'm also getting like a school of mysticism or a school of light. Maybe you've decided to kind of take up more learning or growth or just college or reading spiritual books but i am getting like knowledge increasing and studying and learning and teaching and but why so intense somebody's very intense i don't know whether you've got a very intense person around you but somebody's eyes are very intense that could be talking about you again and how you look at this person and make them feel intimidated or make them feel uncomfortable or you see their truth, it's like they don't even have to speak for you to see their truth. It's like you don't even need glasses to see somebody for who they are. Okay. So we have beautiful un uncaging, and we also have it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, for some reason I'm getting that you're over it though. You're over whatever whatever somebody's done. Like this person that feels this all this um, anxiety or worry or just disappointment in their stomach or these negative emotions in their stomach. Like they are holding on to all of this from the past but you've let it go because it is what it is. Your heart's already grown and your heart's already healed. And I'm getting that you're unlocking other people's hearts. You may have quite a lot of lovers or may op have options or people may kind of have you in mind as wanting you to be their lover. But I'm just getting that it is what it is. You got past it. You move forward. And once you move forward, you left it where it was. And also, not only did you leave these negative emotions and the event where it was, you left that person where they were. You left that person behind as well. Which is why they're regretting it. Great big love. It's like you had to do it for yourself. For some reason, I'm gonna, I'm getting like no one was gonna take your healing serious. You had to take your healing serious. No one was gonna heal you for you, or no one was gonna show you the way. You had to find the way, and you found the way. And now this person recognizes that you found the way, or that you excelled when all the odds was against you and now they want to come back now they want to come back but i'm getting like you have to be wary you have to be careful you have to listen to this person because there's an element of them that is still very much so manipulative and i'm getting manipulative with their words yes we have the storyteller coming out of the deck manipulative with their words Manipulative with how they explain stories or how they express their emotions. They're very good at making you feel something that may not necessarily be true. They're great at cultivating emotions in people. But there's a need for you to see beyond that. There's a need for you to look deeper at what this person is saying or read in between the lines with this magician energy it's like if you stare this person in the eye as they are telling these lies or make saying these fabrications they will begin to stutter or they'll begin to sweat 
or their glasses will begin to um, fall off their nose or whatever, there'll be clear signs that this person is being manipulative or they're not being as truthful or or they're not as trusting as you can kind of believe. We have quieting the mind. For some reason, I'm getting you need to um, go within, but I'm also getting, which is a little bit strange, is ask this person to go within before communicating with you. Maybe you used to meditate together or maybe you've just begun meditating and you want to kind of help this person get in tuned or whatever, but there is this this energy of you kind of asking this person to meditate or to get in tune or to calm down or relax before communicating with you. Maybe it's a bit of advice that you're giving somebody. But there's a need for somebody to ground before communicating with you. Is there also a need for somebody to calm down their sexual energy or their creative energy? I am seeing yellow, but it's more located in your um your sacral chakra, your root chakra. This is why I was I was going more to someone needing to balance their sexual energy. But now I'm getting creative energy with the yellow again and your crown chakra, imagination. So someone needs to balance their creative energy tame their creative energy or be more expressive and express themselves and that was 1616 16 on the clock just as I looked up I'm also seeing um, a pinky promise being made a promise being made someone could be um, proposing or something where I just see like a commitment being made and it doesn't have to be a commitment in terms of a wedding or anything like that or a proposal it could just be like in terms of a business venture or somebody just um saying something and needing to stick to their word in terms of a commitment. I am seeing the lotus flower again and this blossoming. Definitely. Okay. Let's pull one final card. For Virgo. March 2021. Okay. That was three cards. I am just wanting one. Okay, no, we're going to have to take these. So we have willing release, beyond the ordinary, and letting go, coming out of the deck. Now, this all makes sense coming off the back of quieting the mind. There's a need for somebody to go within. So obviously quiet the mind as that card has already came out. But really, the reason why they were being asked to go within and to kind of meditate or ground before communicating with you is because there are things that they need to release before communicating with you. There are triggers that they need to acknowledge or that are going to be made aware to them in meditation that they need to release before communicating with you so that things can be less combated or that things can be, um, I want to say, more truthful or valid or... So that there can just be more understanding between the two of you instead of triggers being in the middle, acting as blockages or barriers between the communication between the two of you. There are things that need to be let go. There are things that are going to be brought up emotionally and I'm getting from their emotional well, from the past, from the present, also from the future I'm getting. I don't know how that works out, but that's just the message. That are kind of being brought up because they are going to be asked what are they willing to release. Let it go. They need to let it go. There's blockages that they need to let go of, basically, before they can come and communicate with you. These blockages need to be released so that they can see beyond the ordinary. So that they can see how you was affected by their actions. So that they can have a better understanding of your thought processes and your heart space. And the fact that the things that they did, yes, whilst it has pushed you to your strongest self or to be a diamond in the rough, that they also caused you to put up barriers and you have your own blockages from the events that they caused or from their own actions. But I'm hearing you've released a lot though. You've grown a lot, you've expanded a lot, you've done a lot of work and a lot of kind of inner work. That you should be very pleased, very proud of yourself because you are growing and you have been growing. And it's that like you are embracing yourself, you are protecting yourself, you are looking after your physical body, but not just your physical body, you're looking after your mind as well and your heart. 
it's like you're realizing that mind, body, and soul, all three are just in, or just as important. Two o two, just as I looked up again, but we're gonna leave this video here. For those under the sign of Virgo, I thank you for being present with me. I thank you for joining me for this read. Again, if any of the messages have resonated, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Peace and love. Ashay.